Hello children. In this lesson, we are going to find area of quadrilateral. So in our last lessons, we have learned how to find area of square, rectangle, triangle, etc. Right? For example, here is a rectangular field. Its area is length into breadth. Right? But in real life, when we see different figures like this is a house or a building with nice glass here or this is another building, we find lot of shapes which are not just rectangle square but a quadrilateral, right? That is rectangle or square are also quadrilateral but they have specific properties like square as all the four sides same and all the four angles also 90 degree. But here is a quadrilateral with four sides but here not all sides are same size, right? So let's try to find out how do we find the area of a, any generic quadrilateral. So as we can see, this quadrilateral, if we have to find its area, that is the inner part of it, we can break it, this quadrilateral, or we can think this quadrilateral as two triangles, one triangle this and another triangle this. So here is a diagonal of this quadrilateral going from one vertex to another. If we can find the area of this triangle, an area of this triangle, if we join them, we are going to get the entire area of quadrilateral, right? So the quadrilateral with vertex A, B, C and D can be thought as a quadrilateral with two triangles, triangle A, B, C and triangle A, C, D, right? And if we can find the area of this triangle A, B, C plus area of triangle A, C, D, if we sum them, we are going to find the area of this entire quadrilateral, right? AC is the diagonal. BD can also be a diagonal. In that case, we can use the triangle's area as triangle ABD plus CBD. Either way, you can find it. And we know area of triangle is what? It's half base into height, right? So let's try for this triangle ABC, we draw a perpendicular line from vertex B to its opposite line that is AC, right? So this B is that line which is the height of this triangle ABC and its base is AC, the diagonal of this quadrilateral, right? So the triangle ABC area would be half B into AC. Same way we draw a perpendicular line from vertex D to this line AC. This is the right angle. And we can say the area of triangle ACD is half of base AC and height DF. Right? Let's call these heights as H1 and H2. So what will be the area of entire quadrilateral? We said it's the sum of area of triangle ABC and triangle ACD and the area of triangle ABC is what half of base AC and height B and for the triangle ACD it is half AC the base and the height DF right so we can write AC as the diagonal of the quadrilateral right it's common and B as H1 and DF as H2 this height and as we can see, diagonal is common We can t and half is common, we can take it out. So the area of any generic quadrilateral is half the length of its diagonal multiplied by H1 plus H2. And H1 and H2 are the perpendiculars drawn from the opposite vertex to the diagonal. So this is one such perpendicular line and this is another such perpendicular line meeting at AD at 90 degree. This is 90 degree. This is also 90 degree. So area of any generic quadrilateral is half its length of its diagonal multiplied by two heights H1 and H2. Now let's take a very specific quadrilateral called rhombus. Right? We know rhombus has all the four sides equal. It has one more property its diagonals BD and OD, right? They divide, they meet at a center point. 
in such a way that AO is equal to OC and BO is equal to OD. One more interesting properties of rhombus is these two diagonals are perpendicular to each other that is they meet at 90 degree. BD is perpendicular to AC. What it means if BD is perpendicular to AC evenly BO or OB is also perpendicular to AC and same way OD is perpendicular to AC. So if we have to find the area of this rhombus all we need to do is find the area of this triangle ABC and triangle ADC and if we sum them we get the area of rhombus and what would that be? Half of diagonal AC multiplied by both the heights just like any quadrilateral we had right this height and this height right so half of diagonal multiplied by sum of the heights h1 which is ob and h2 which is od right and we know in case of rhombus these two together because they both these perpendicular are going through the same point this can be written as bd so what is the final thing which is coming as area of rhombus half of AC multiplied by BD which is half of product of its diagonals. So in a generic quadrilateral it is half into one of the diagonal multiplied by some of the heights opposite to it but in case of a rhombus which is of the same length of all the four sides and where the diagonals meet each other at 90 degree there the area is half of product of its diagonal that is half multiplied by length AC which is one diagonal and BD which is other diagonal. So that's all in this lesson children. Bye bye.